Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're gonna be taking a look at how to quickly customize the look and options within AutoCAD, primarily uh, changing up the colors in the background as well as the general workspace to your likings. Uh, I've been asked this a bunch of times. It's one of the most popular uh, questions on Google for AutoCAD. Uh, so I figured I'd touch on this uh, and show you guys how it's done. Before we jumped in, I wanted to thank Into the AM for supporting the channel. Uh, they make awesome quality t-shirts, sweaters, uh, hats, all kinds of uh, clothing gear. Uh, this hoodie here that I've been wearing is one of my favorites and I wear it almost every day since I've gotten it. Uh, I'll put a link below on where you guys can get that or you can uh, click on the link up above, uh, cadintentions.com slash ITA uh, to get 10% or more off of your order uh, by using the code and supporting the channel. Let's get started. All right, so we're going to jump right into it to try and keep it at the two minute mark for two minute Tuesday by typing in the options command. So options in the command line and hitting enter you bring up the option dialog box where you can go to the display tab. This is gonna control uh, the look and feel of your workspace. Primarily the color schemes is what we're gonna look at, uh, but you can also change how uh, XREFs are uh, displayed by changing their fade. You can also check on and off a bunch of the layout elements within your workspace, including turning on and off the tabs for model and layout, although I'm not sure uh, what your advantage would be for that. I prefer them on, uh, as well as displaying printable area, paper backgrounds, uh, and the ability to create a viewport in new layouts. Uh, to change the colors, up here you can choose between a dark and light color scheme for the overall appearance of your uh, AutoCAD workspace. I prefer the dark. Uh, I find it easier on the eyes for long periods of time. Uh, but I know a lot of you may want to change that up, match it to your desktop, or just change the colors so that uh, things and line work, objects, that kind of stuff is easier to see. Uh, to do that, you can go down to the colors pop out button here and change pretty much every color within AutoCAD. Uh, each interface element is in this list here, uh, and you can play around with these to learn what you like. Uh, but the uniform background which is typically what most people want to change, is the first one here. To change it for each context, you're going to have to select it and then change the color. Uh, the most typical would be the 2D model or 2D workspace, which is right here in the background. Mine set to the color 797979, uh, which is a medium kind of gray charcoal color. By hitting the drop down here, you're able to choose the default colors or go to select color. And from there you can create or choose your own custom color, uh, adjusting it from uh, one end of the spectrum to the other, light or dark, uh, white or gray. So if we choose a uh, light cyan, for example here, and hit okay, you can see the example is displayed down below, as well as a lot of the different things that you can change within it, like the crosshair and viewport control, grid major and minor lines, uh, the tool tip colors. You can really get crazy with your uh, color schemes, but I prefer, as I mentioned, a lighter kind of more uh, subdued uh, night mode kind of version of AutoCAD. So that's where you can find all of these settings. Uh, I'll leave it to you guys to explore, uh, but the options dialog box under display is where you're going to find all of the customization where it comes to color and display styles. Uh, for your AutoCAD workspace. So I hope I kept this one quick. That's the goal of these. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. And if you guys have any questions, requests for new videos, be sure to leave them in the comments below. I'm gonna be checking and adding them all to a list for the new year. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here 
to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.